tuning in. And I'm here in Alaska, and right now I'm aboard the Wilderness Express. I'm on my way to Denali. So this is going to be another special episode of Ben's Wild Adventure. I'm hoping to see a lot of animals here. We've already seen some moose and bald eagles, and I'm hoping we see other things here too, like elk, caribou, brown bear, black bear, cougar, wolf, muskox, bison, anything that's up here. It'll be pretty exciting, because right now we're out on the tundra, and I've never been up here to Alaska before. This is the, as far north that I've ever come. Being really close to the Arctic Circle is really neat, because you might see the northern lights at nighttime, and hopefully tomorrow, when we go on a hike, we'll see lots of animals, so I'll tell you when we see them. I'm in Kenai Fjord National Park. And up there on the mountains, there's a white spot. That's a mountain goat. Now that's really cool. And mountain goats, they're wild goats. And what's interesting is, unlike most goats who headbutt with their horns, mountain goats stab with their horns. So they're obviously very sharp. And they can actually defend themselves from cougars. They can just stab with their horns. And just one little thing I want to say quickly, even though I'm not in Denali anymore, just like Africa and the ocean, Denali has its own big five. The moose, the brown bear, the caribou, the doll sheep, and the wolf. Now I'm here at the Seattle Aquarium in Seattle, Washington State. And right behind me is a giant Pacific octopus, the largest octopus in the world. Arm span is 40 feet wide, it's 30 feet long and weighs half a ton. And what's interesting is, years ago here at the Seattle Aquarium, there was a tank where spiny dogfish shark carcasses kept turning up at the bottom of the tank. They were wondering who was doing it, so one night they put up a camera and they found the culprit. It was a giant Pacific octopus that was killing the spiny dogfish sharks. They, they filmed it killing one of the sharks and it devoured half of the shark. Uh, we put the octopus in our dome. We went over to the dome. Yeah. We put the octopus in the dome. Yeah. And we came out one morning and there was a dead dog. We thought, well, hey, you know, something's happening here. And they tried to get and discovered the octopus who was in that tank by itself was eating the sharks. Yeah, because because the dogfish is, is pretty sedentary in the night. It was a good good way to get out of the way. That didn't last very long and then realized we were gonna have octopus that didn't be in Wow. That was a long, long, long time. Wow. Do you still have spiny dogfish sharks here? Obviously in a separate tank, obviously. Oh, they're, no, they're by themselves. So, okay, we're always hoping we would put uh, uh, dogfish, anything that's going to be sedentary, we wouldn't put it in the dog tanks. Ah, I can put their opportunities in. Yeah. here in this tank are the spiny dogfish sharks, the giant Pacific octopus's opponent. The spiny dogfish shark and... Now, in a, they're not very large sharks. Uh, 
and as you can see right there behind me, and they, they're called spine dogfish sharks because they actually have a spine on their dorsal fins that packs poison, but the octopus was immune to the poison, and um, to, to understand who would win in a battle between a spiny dogfish shark and a giant Pacific octopus, well, believe it or not, that's actually similar to the great white shark against the blue ringed octopus. Now, the blue ringed octopus is the most poisonous octopus in the world, and it the blue ringed octopus won the battle against the great white shark because of its poisonous bite. So, if a blue ringed octopus could kill a great white shark, then imagine what a giant Pacific octopus could do to a great white shark. And, therefore, in a fight between the giant Pacific octopus and the spiny dogfish shark, my money's on the giant Pacific octopus. <laughs>